Yo, yo, what's poppin' all you cyberpunks and retro nerds out there? It's your host, Tommy the Hammer. Welcome back to another edition of Neon Trash. Today we're gonna be discussing an important movie. It's called Black Narcissus. I first heard about this film from director Martin Scorsese. He was talking about his you know, favorite movies of all time, and this happens to be one of them, mainly because of its use of Technicolor. For those of you that aren't familiar with the film treatment process that is Technicolor, basically it's a method that directors would use back in the day to make movies in color. And arguably so, films from that era just have a completely different feeling all together. And I'm a huge fan of Technicolor films. All the eye-watering colors are just exquisite. So. I can't wait to check this movie out. I've never seen it before, and the overall plot to the film, you know, upon first inspection, doesn't really sound like something I would gravitate towards normally, but you know what? I love good movies. As long as there's an excellent narrative, good acting, and of course, exquisite Technicolor, then I think I'm gonna be sold. You guys get to check out the trailer. You want to keep your head against your will? Because you're all jealous of me. Especially you. The clash of strong personalities. I understood you wanted to see me. We want to talk to you on business. I suppose you want to talk to me on anything else. Sorry. I don't know why you are being so rude to me, Mr. Dean. I have to talk business with you, whether I like it or not. The contrast of present peace and self-denial with the rich memories of the full years that have passed. They renounced the world of men, but found that the world was not to be denied. I gave up my vows. I finished with them up there. I see. I love you. You... I had to have the young general. I couldn't turn out the holy man. I couldn't stop the wind from blowing and the air from being as clear as crystal, and I couldn't hide the mountain. I told you it was no place to put a nunnery. There's something in the atmosphere that makes everything seem exaggerated. Don't you understand? complete and total awe over this movie. Um, you have to understand that Black Narcissus was made in 1947 and I don't know just thinking about that fact and how innovative um, this movie is in terms of a technical standpoint and a progressive narrative standpoint it's just all kind of impressive. So a lot of the special effects in this movie are done with like blue screen and matte paintings and it's all done by hand and you know camera tricks, editing tricks of the time period. So you know I found myself being very swept away in the scenery and you know the set designs and the colors and just being drawn into the film and I was you know forgetting that it was made in the 1940s and there was moments where the cinematography and just the way it was filmed um, actually kind of you know felt like a movie from maybe the 60s or the 1970s. One thing I didn't expect by watching the movie Black Narcissus is how drawn to the story uh, I was going to be. The overall plot to the film um, kind of starts conventional enough. Our main character kind of experiences a reawakening of her past and I feel like this is the narrative element that really spoke to me uh, the most is because I feel like we all think about our youth and we think about all the could haves and you know what ifs that we may have had had we taken a different route and that's where I find this movie to be quite you know progressive is this director which by the way this movie was based off of a book 
um, this director and writer, they were asking questions that weren't really fully explored in most mainstream you know, cinema of the time period. By the end of the film, everything starts culminating into a sense of terror and madness. Basically, this movie is kind of an erotic psychological drama, and I found that, you know, there were moments that, you know, reminded me of the work of Dario Argento, and obviously he was probably influenced by this film. The end of Black Narcissus really feels like Suspiria in terms of the color, the loud opera-like music, the intensity. It's all very, you know, Jalio, very Dario Argento, very Alfred Hitchcock. But with all that being said, I do realize that movies like this, especially from the time period and the overall subject matter, you know, it's it's all based on opinion. Some people might not be interested in a film like this. It's definitely a slow burn. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, religious symbolism. It asks really big questions and it's not an easy movie to digest. With all that being said, guys, I gotta say, I was deeply impressed by this movie, and it moved me in a number of spots. So I think it's an excellent film. It's definitely now <laughs> one of my top 100 movies of all time, and rarely do I ever give a movie a perfect score. There's, you know, maybe a handful of movies that I consider to be, you know, top tier and perfect, but this is near the top. I like it a lot, and if I had to give a star count to Black Narcissus out of 10 stars, I could award it the perfect 10 out of 10.